Shane Williams uh, here this evening and looking ahead <coughs> as uh, has already been mentioned to a, a good open game and hopefully with a little less kicking perhaps than we saw last weekend. Radro just slips on the 10 meter line. Take out very quickly there by Reese Webb. <laughs> Phillips again offloading Sam Cross away. He goes up to the 22. Lovely step. Could this be the first score of the evening? Couldn't quite get the pass away. Kieran Williams is there in support. Waiting, waiting before hoisting the, the high kick. Luke Morgan has come in off his left wing. Lovely step from the wing three quarter. And away he goes over halfway. Now then, he's a speedster. He's got support from Reese Webb. Webb for the corner. Hasn't got the pace himself. Momentum lost there for a, a while as Myler captaining the Australia tonight takes captain. it in. Up. You must release your assist. Centre field. Right footed kicker. Sounded good. And it certainly is good. And that is the, the opening score then claimed by the visitors. Hold. Taken again by uh, Joe Davis for the Dragons. Gone off the line. Drive coming in from the sideways. Ospreys. Nicky Smith prominent. The ball is there again. Tucked under advantage for you. You've got to bind him in. Uh, advantage. Richard Hibbert. Thank you. The Dragons will get That'll the advantage. advantage here. Roberts round the corner. Lovely work. Ashton Hewitt. Out Manager quickly right. into the arms of Jared Ross has got pace, didn't okay, have the space though. Right. Is in there again, might have got both hands on it. Not quite. Roberts. Ball spills out, Throw but away. the Dragons will get a penalty 13. and an easy three pointer here. Away. Yeah. Great work there, good angle. Lewis level the scores. Steps up, makes no mistake. So it's even Stevens here at the Rodney Parade. 13 minutes of play. It's the Dragons three, Ospreys three. Laying it back. Lewis, Roberts, Tompkins gets away from Ivan Phillips. Oh, there's a yellow card on its way here. Clear overlap. There's a clear overlap, says Dan Jones. Waste no time whatsoever in uh, going into his pocket. Festive derby season. Whipped out from Josh Lewis to uh, Tompkins and Roberts in concert. Still the uh, Ospreys defence for a split second hold for him, but diving in at the Quite corner. Good. That's Jared Rosser. That's what he'll give you. The ruck now. So the ruck has been formed. This ball won't go far. I can assure you. Quick ball this time for Reese Webb out. Uh, it goes on the narrow side to the corner. And Prodro in for his third try of the season. A well worked try. He's been bringing to the Dragons. He's given them that sort of fighting edge. So it's a shame to see him leave in the field. It certainly is. It was developing a good contest with Reese Webb. Hawkins, the replacement uh, at centre. Just 18 years of age. Advantage offside. So Myler to give the visitors the advantage for the second time in this match. Two minutes from the break. Uh, it's the Dragons 10, Ospreys 30. For Pedro Robert and left it for Rodri Williams. Prodro, brave in the air. That player, 13, has thrown off his feet. The breeze blowing through Rodney Parade. And Josh Lewis sends it high and straight and true. What a miss he's been for the Ospreys, but you'd love to see him get involved in the game, wouldn't you? He's such a talent. Oh, another talent here. Owen Watkin, might he go the whole way? He will not, but George North will, rounding off a fine move from the Ospreys. We've waited 23 minutes into the second half for that one, but it was well worth the wait. The try created by Owen Watkin in midfield. When Jenkins is up from fullback, just out of your picture. Jamie Roberts and Nick Tompkins in close order. Advantage, Pitt! Advantage, advantage, Dragons. This time, perhaps, Jamie Roberts holding on for grim death this time. And again, the doctor's in the house. Down the front, a quick little throw-in finds Adam Beard. Otten 
digging deep to get his hands on the ball. Now then, direction is what is needed here, accuracy as well. The Dragons at the moment uh, holding up the attack of the arm is in the air, and that's the try that should clinch it for the Ospreys. Uh, their second win of the derby season, having uh, downed the Blues last weekend, and it's uh, another try for the uh, the front row union and the hookers in particular. It's a seventh try now uh, from a mall for the Ospreys this season, and most of them have been claimed, as you say, D. That's a rip, play on, rip off. Ripped what? away by Owen Watkin, Prodro. <laughs> well, someone can spark uh, the Ospreys into action. That's the diminutive Matt Prodro. Yeah, was he taken late? Was he challenged late? Rodri Williams is back there, that's enough. Or will it be a penalty? Ten black, please. So the game's not Ten. over yet. Ten. Josh Lewis. No, late. Clear attacking opportunity. Here's the man. Where's the mark, Ed? Peanut. He wanted to keep playing right to the end, so do the Ospreys. Well, out of shots. George North standing immediately behind Ruben Morgan Williams, shadowing the replacement scrum half. In he goes to add his not inconsiderable weight to the effort. And over they go. Dan Jones says no, that held up. he was held up. Not this time. I Clearly wish I'd have placed the bet. No <laughs> so there we have it then. Five minutes uh, over the 80 at the end. An entertaining first half certainly deteriorated somewhat in the third quarter came alive in the final 20 minutes and uh, that young man, Matt Prodro.